Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. We are back in the Roman Kingdom, and I have decided on a name. I've decided on a name for the Roman Kingdom. We're going to call it Regnum, which literally translates to the Kingdom. <laughs> I thought it was very fitting, and it has a nice ring to it. So this is now the Kingdom of of Regnum, and I've done some significant work here as well. There was a live stream between the last episode and this one. All the roads are now in place, with the exception of this little one, which is going to be a main road with a gate, uh, with a gate, and that leads out the city towards the other kingdoms over that way. Uh, and then the central plaza. It, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to have a road around it, and then the central plaza in the middle. Or if I'm just going to make this whole big thing the central plaza, I'm probably going to do that. I haven't decided for sure yet. And then the only other roads that we still need are the roads that are going to wrap around the outside of Regnum. Uh, and those are probably going to be one of the last things that I will build in case I have to tweak them for some of the other buildings and structures that we're going to put around here. But what I want to do in today's episode is I would like to work a bit on the library. We've almost got it finished, but there's still some finishing touches we have to put in here. We need to decorate the interior uh, with all sorts of different stuff, because right now it's just this kind of big, vast, open space, and that's not exactly ideal. We don't want that. We, we need to decorate the interior uh, with, you know, reading areas and all sorts of stuff like that. We need to do the ceiling in here, because this looks pretty bad. Uh, and then we need to decorate the exterior as well. And I want to start with that. So right in here, I'm thinking, I'd like to have a fountain. Um, just kind of right, right around here or so. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to find the corner of this plaza, which would be like right here. And we're just going to kind of count in to maybe about here or so. And this will be the corner of our fountain, I think. And then I'm gonna knock out an area like that. Um, that's probably gonna be, how big do I want this to be? Hmm, it needs to have a center point. I mean, we could, we could make it like this. How's that feel for a size? Let's see. That's decent sized. I'd like to go a little bigger though. That's too big. Yeah, that's way too big. So since we have to basically build in odd numbers, I think, I think we'll probably go about here. Yeah, yeah, that should be good. Let's let's go about like so. Um, I just need to kind of mix in these other textures a little bit. So our fountain will end up being about this big. And that seems... That seems okay. Let's see, so we have here, here. Yeah, that should do. I think that'll be fine. Uh, unless, I suppose the other option would be, we could go, like so, and that would still be circular, and that would actually be more kind of along the size that I was imagining initially. I think that would be better. Let's just see... If I mix in these materials... Yeah, that seems much better. I like that. That'll do. Okay, so we'll have our fountain be about this big. Now, I need to decorate the fountain a bit. And we're actually going to use, I think, stone brick. Uh, or not, I'm sorry, not stone brick. Stone slabs. Uh, because they give us this kind of nice color. Or actually, we could just go diorite. Uh, and then grab some stone slabs from here. That should work. I think. 
right? Yeah. And what we'll do is these areas. Oh, wait a minute. Am I messing this up? I feel like I'm messing this up. No, I, I'm right. I'm right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically what we're going to do is this whole border around this thing. Like so. We'll put polished diorite like this. There we go. And then on top of that, I'm going to put a stone slab like this. Since those are about the same color, I think that'll work really well. Uh, let's just knock this one out. And then down here, we'll put the diorite as well. And maybe I'll mix the textures a little bit. Maybe we'll, we'll do some of it in slabs and some of it in uh, the diorite. So let me get that done and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I am back. So it's all taken care of. I think the, uh, the look of it in there looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. So now we need to fill it in with water. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna try and fill the whole thing so we have a nice infinite water source. Uh, and in theory, if I get this right, we should be able to do, it should just work its way across, but apparently I derped something up somewhere. I, I don't know, whatever. I'll just kind of, there we go. All right, so the whole thing is now all filled in, but of course it wouldn't be a proper fountain. It wouldn't be a proper fountain if it didn't have, like, a water spout type thing coming out of it. Uh, fill. Beautiful. Okay. So, what we'll do is probably build that up to about here. And then I'm thinking maybe here, there, and there we'll have other things. Uh, although, you know what I need to do? Is we need to kind of come up like this. And we'll go up like so. And then I'm going to go here. Let's pop out real quick. We'll put one here and here. And that should do it, I think. Like, that looks pretty good. Let me just make sure that I've got one on top of all of those stone, uh, all of the, the, the diorite. Like that, there we go. And then we can tear this part down. Because it was just there so we could shape the, the fountain, uh, the water of the fountain. There we go. Yeah, doesn't that look, doesn't that look nice? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Like, as you come down, we've got this nice, like, fountain type thing going here. I think that looks beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I would like to get a little bit of lighting in the fountain, but it's not super important. It's not super, super important because nothing can spawn in water and nothing can spawn on top of these slabs either. So I think we can probably just leave it. Um, so I think for now we'll probably call it good. Oh, that was, that was another thing that I needed to do as well. Uh, up here, we need to sort that out. So let me go grab some more resources to work for the next stage of our video of the video, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys. So the next thing that I want to tackle is this area up here. And what I mean by that is when you come up this ladder, you can just kind of see the exposed roof up here, and it looks pretty bad. So I want to do something about that. Well, I think what we're going to do is we'll keep this nice and simple. I'm going to keep, uh, I'm going to grab some stairs. 
And we're just gonna bring a row of stairs across like this. Oop. Right? And we'll just wrap it around. Going across like this. Oop. And there we go. So that takes care of it over on this end. I think right here. Mm, what? Where, huh? What did I... What? Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, so we'll do something like that, I think. And then maybe I put a slab here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, and then on this side, we'll just bring slabs across like this. And that'll cover up all this ugly roof bit. like so good okay so that's nice and simple and then in the center of each of these so in this case uh let's probably put it back on this row so here there 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 and this one, maybe I'm going to put here, because then it's centered on the coin. Well, mm, mm. <laughs> now, nah, I'll put it right here. That'll work. What we'll do is we're just going to put a glowstone block up here. Like this. Just for some lighting, right? Keep it nice and simple. And over here... Same deal, we'll put it right up against the edge. Like that, since this is a much thinner side. But that way, we have some lighting up there. And I don't think it looks too bad from down here. I think it looks just fine. Um, so that's all good. Now, next step is we need to do something with the outside of this. So let's count how many spaces we've got. We've got one Let's get out of the fountain. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, essentially. We have like thirteen spaces to work with. Okay? And what I want to do is I want to have some busts there. Uh, which are basically like statues, except they're only statues from like roughly the chest up. Okay? Um... Is, you'll you'll know what I mean when I show you. Uh, actually, I just threw that away, but I didn't mean to. So let's grab some nether brick. And then we're going to need some armor stands. I don't know that I have any made. I've got four made already. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. And I can certainly make some more. We're going to need 13 armor stands. So let's grab some of you uh actually i've already got four so we need nine armor stands there we go put that right there and there's our armor stands taken care of and then i need a whole bunch of iron armor we're gonna go through quite a bit of it right here uh unless i have a bunch saved up and i don't think think oh actually i've got five iron helmets that's gonna save us that's gonna save us a little bit because i need 13 sets of armor basically so let's grab a bunch of this i don't need the iron chest plate i and i don't i don't need helmets or anything like that i just need well let's, that's eight so then nine ten eleven twelve Let's put all those in there. Oop, I, I threw that. I threw that in there as well. So there's 13, right? That's the really expensive part. The helmets will be much cheaper because they're not. Uh, obviously, they use a lot less arm, uh, a lot less. So let's see here. I've got three, so that means I need to make nine. No, I need to make ten. So there we go. There's our ten helmets. Toss those in there, and that should be everything we need as far as iron goes. And then, 
I need a piston. Do I have a piston in my redstone chest? Let's take a peek. I may. Or in my redstone shulker box? I don't. I do have a redstone torch, though. So that's the thing. Uh, let's see. So to make a piston... One, two, three, four. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Uh, one. One. There we go. And... Piston. Beautiful. Okay, so I think that's everything we need there. Uh, I've got my redstone torch, got my piston, got my armor stands in this shulker box, or, uh, got my... got my, uh... armor in this shulker box here. I think we're good. And it, it, it's sleep time. Let's, let's just take a nap. And then I'll show you how we do these busts. Uh, I like it. Uh, you got I'm sure some of you already know how I'm planning on doing this, because it's not super, it, it's really not a super difficult concept or anything like that, and it's, it's, it's certainly not my original idea that I've, I'm the only person to ever think of. But I think it'll fit really nicely here. So what we're going to do is right here, we'll put nether brick. Uh, actually, no, we won't. We'll, oh, did I not grab more nether brick stairs? Ah, dang it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. So, we're going to put an armor stand. Ooh. We'll put an armor stand right there. We're going to put another brick here. A piston here. Torch. And there you can see, now you can only see the very top of the armor stand, right? So then... When we take our armor and put it on, it gives us a bust. And then we'll have uh, another nether brick stair over on this side kind of sticking out as well. So let me get that done to all the spots, and then I'll come back to you. All right, guys, that is taken care of, and I think it looks pretty good. It definitely makes it a little bit more interesting, uh, adds a nice little color change in there. I think it's good. I think it's really cool. Uh, so that is good to go that's good to go now what we need to do is figure out the interior of the library and i think we're gonna start by grabbing uh, a few different things so what am i not gonna need that i have right now i've got uh not gonna need any of the redstone stuff probably not gonna need my bed right now or the buckets um let me get this stuff together and I'll meet you over at the library. All right, guys, I am back. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure that all the lighting in here is good. And we don't want torches at all <laughs> anywhere in the lighting. I'm also not super happy with this right here. I've got this one little spot. Oh, dang it, I left. <laughs> oh, isn't it just typical? You always leave something behind. I leave a shulker, I'm like, I'm all prepared, I'm so professional, I've got everything all prepared, ready to go, nope, leave a shulker box sitting right here. <laughs> That's how it always goes, I'll tell ya. Uh, and actually, now it's about to be night, so yet again, not super prepared, I, I will bring my bed with me though. Uh, but, what I want to do is I want to sort out the lighting down here on the floor first, because... I don't want there to be torches spammed around on the floor at all. That's just silly. So I think what we're going to do is we had a glowstone block right here above the door, but I'm not really, I, I don't dig it. I, I'm, not, I'm not digging it. So we're going to get rid of that. And instead, I think right here, we're going to put like a little carpet that kind of leads out like this right and I'm thinking for a carpet design uh, and for we're gonna have multiple carpets in here by the way but I'm thinking for a carpet design we'll probably go with a few different colors and then I'll put a glowstone block right there so that we can have um, what we need so let's just kind of do this for the moment I don't know why I tore out the whole floor but whatever you know, that's how I roll. It's okay. 
So let's put a gray carpet here. And I don't really want to have any set pattern per se. Um, let's go maybe like this. Maybe a black there. Black here. Gray. Maybe something like that? Or maybe we do even... Maybe something like this. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. And then what we can do is in certain spots, we'll kind of take the out and instead, we'll do wool blocks, and that gives us kind of a little bit of a, just a, just a tad bit of depth, <laughs> right? Just, just enough that you can kind of see, and it kind of looks then like the carpet is, is like ruffled or, or whatever. Uh, so maybe here, we'll do something like that, right? Just to give it the, the, the tiniest amount of detail. Because uh, there's only so much detail you could do with carpets on a small scale. Um, but I think that's pretty good. So next, we need seating areas. And tell me I brought a crafting bench. Okay, thank goodness. I was going to be very upset with myself. Uh, let's make some dark oak stairs, like so. And then we'll grab some of these and some of this. Yeah, 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 that's fine. Okay, and I'm thinking we're just gonna have real simple, just some like reading areas, right? Kind of around like this, maybe, maybe we just do, oop, that's, that's spruce. Maybe we just do something like that, right? Little table, little, little bit of a reading area. Nothing, nothing too mazy. We could even, like, turn this. Uh, so it's kind of like this big, like, open couch. But I think that's a bit more than I want. I'm also thinking this is a little too big. So maybe we just do something like that. And we'll work a couple of those in throughout the build. So let me get some work done there, guys. And then I'll come back to you with some progress. All right, guys, I am back. I've got some furniture kind of mixed in here. I think it's fine for now. Uh, I also went ahead and put another carpet here. There's a glowstone block hiding underneath, but what I really want to get to is the ceiling in here. This is really kind of the important thing. I'm thinking what I want to do is kind of replicate this design right here, because it'll be simple and I think it'll look really good. Um, it would be cool if we could implement this in such a way that this was like raised up, but I'm, I'm just not seeing how we could do that in a way that would make sense. Uh, I also really need to get a uh, a railing in there. Did I? Oh, I came down here to use the crafting table and realized that I actually had it in my inventory. Isn't that just typical? Uh, let's try a little something something here. If we make dark oak fences, how's that look? Railing color-wise? That, I think that works. I like it. That'll work better. I was considering using that or spruce. And I think this will do nicely. Let's make some more fences. And we'll just... There we go. Nice little railing kind of leading up. I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I like it. Okay. So, ceiling design. Going to be the same as this right here. So let me get down to it, and then I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I am back, and I've got the roof and the ceiling in place. I think the interior of the library is basically done. There's more we could do in here, and there's more that we may do in here, you know, in little bits here and there. If I, uh, maybe like during a live stream, if I decide I want to do a little bit more interior decorating, you know, stuff like that. Uh, maybe I'll do some more work in here, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the way that this thing looks. I'm, I think it's, for all intents and purposes, complete. Um, so it's looking good. It's looking good. Now, the outside, 
we need to do something with that. And specifically, it involves the lighting. Um, right now, and I, I'm not going to tackle the challenge of figuring out the lighting for the entirety of Regdoom right now, but I do know that we're going to have to figure out the lighting for this plaza, because a lot of the lighting I want to do with, like, uh, light posts, essentially, like lamps, um, street lights, if you will, but we're not going to be able to do that here, because, like, it wouldn't make sense to have a street light, like, right here, for example. That would just be kind of silly. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to break out all of these torches. I actually kind of wish it was night right now uh, so that I could see how the lighting goes, but I think we'll be able to figure this out without too much trouble. Let's just get rid of all these. The, the balcony should be perfectly fine with the glowstone that we have up there in the ceiling, so I'm not overly concerned with that. But I'm thinking this light gray carpet actually goes relatively well with this mixture. So I think if we put some torches in here like so, we can just cover those up. Yeah, we could just cover those up with the carpet, and that will give us light in here. You do have to be a little bit careful, but I think it will do the trick. So, let's see, where else will we need light? We're, we're going to need light probably like right there. I think that blends pretty well. Like, I, I don't think that looks bad. That kind of light gray carpet, just just mixing it in. And the idea is to still make it look kind of random, so it kind of looks like it's still part of the design, right? We don't want it to, to look completely out of the ordinary. Uh, so we're going to kind of want to mix it around a bit, if that makes sense. But some of these spots where we would have stone brick... We could just put this carpet instead, and I think that's a good, simple, and yet effective lighting solution. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll do one here, maybe one there. Uh, let's see, here, there. What else is not... we're gonna need one over here somewhere. Oh, that's actually a terrible spot for one. <laughs> that's not going to work. Should have thought of that. That's okay. That's fine. Here and there. Oop. There. There we go. And then maybe one like right... Hmm. Yeah, if I put one here. That should basically cover... Oh. We've still got all this area. Uh, so let's think about this. Let's maybe go here, 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 and here. And then maybe like one right there actually as well. And I think if we fill in all of those, that should basically cover the lighting for the whole plaza. Uh, or at least for this little plaza, anyway. Not, obviously not for the whole city. But I think this is a solution that gets the job done. And I don't think it looks bad. Like, and now it's starting to get dark, which is good. So we can kind of look at this and get an idea. Uh, maybe we'll put another one back there. Let's see. Looks like we maybe need one right here. Just looking at kind of where the shadows are starting to develop. But this looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any areas that are super dark. I think that'll do the trick. And then we've got our lighting all hidden and everything. So that's fantastic. All right, I think I I think this is done. I, I mean, I think the, the Grand Library is completely done, with the exception of maybe some little details that I'll add in like during live streams or something. 
So I think that's basically gonna do it. Now, we do have to get into the comment of the day. And today's comment is from Kabood, and it says, Finally making some good content well done. Thank you. I'm glad you think so. Um, now, I do want to say, some of you may think that that comment sounds mean, okay? I don't want you to go back and hate on the comment. It's not a mean comment. It was a nice comment. And you know what? To be entirely honest, guys, it's a completely valid comment. I have to admit, uh, for the first time in... Honestly, quite a long time. I'm actually pretty happy with my content right now. For pretty much all of 2016, I was not super happy with my content. <laughs> I was still making my content, and I was still putting out as much content as I could. Hi, Creeper. Give me my bow. Oh, hold on. Hold that thought. We good? Where did you spawn from? Over here somewhere? Apparently, this is spawnable. Okay, we're good. Anyway, uh, I was still making my content, um, but I have to admit, I wasn't happy with the content that I was making last year. Uh, and even for the first couple months or so of this year, I wasn't happy with it. It just wasn't, uh, it wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, and a lot of it was because of time constraints. Um, last year especially. Last year I had very little time to do anything. Uh, because I was working full-time, uh, and then trying to basically do YouTube full-time on top of that. Uh, so I was working just so many hours, and I didn't have the time to make the content that I wanted to make. And then after I became a full-time YouTuber, like, last November, it took me a little while to kind of realize that, that, like, hey, you can actually put time and effort into your content now to make the content that you want to make. So that's kind of what what's been happening over the last couple weeks is that my content is kind of transforming into something that I'm a lot happier with. And I think that's a really good thing. And I, I'm, I'm sure that most of you would probably agree that that's a really good thing. So that was the comment of the day. Uh, I put it in the thing already. And guys, we are very much out of time for this episode. So my friends, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. Links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.